Oh no, my God. Oh no, my love, my wife, death that hath sucked the honey of thy breath, hath no power yet upon thy beauty. Oh, Juliet, why art thou yet so fair? I don't know. Just lucky, I guess. Uh, uh, shall I believe that unsubstantial death is happiness? To keep thee here in the dark, to be his paramour? Here's to my love. O oh, true apothecary, thy drugs are quick. Thus, with a kiss, I die. So we now present Shakespeare's first tragedy, Titus Andronicus, as a cooking show. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, gourmets. Oh, I can't hold that hand. <sighs> Welcome to Roman Beans. I'm your host, Titus Androgynous. Now, you've had a long day. Your son's murdered. Your right hand cut off, your daughter raped, her tongue cut out, both her hands chopped off. Well, last thing you want to do is cook. <laughs> Unless you cook the rapist and serve it to his mother at a dinner party. Now, my daughter Lavinia and I will show you how. Good evening, Lavinia. Good evening, Mama. Oh, and how are you doing today? Oh, I'm oh, God, Mama. I, I'm my own, Mama. Oh, I know it's a pisser, but we'll get our revenge, won't we? <laughs> now, heart feeling. 
I'll grind your bones to dust. With your blood in it, I'll make a paste. And with that paste, a shameful coffin I will rear, make a pasty of your shameful head. A couple of you have the blood. Now, we're going to want to make a nice clean incision from carotid artery to jugular vein, like so. <laughs> Salami? 
So, 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 so he come back home, met his mother the bitch, and he thinks he pulled it off without a hitch. There's a million at the door. When we met in that four, so you big dummy. She won't know four. She was pure. She was clean. She was virginal too. So why'd you have to go and make her face turn blue? It's true. It's you. Now what you gonna do? And I fell and said, Damn, this is getting pretty scary. Pull out the lady and committed there with Terry. Y'all got caught, but he probably caught the plea. Packed up his bag and moved to Beverly. Hills, that is. Hey guys, uh, oh yeah, why don't we uh, take a break from all these heavy tragedies uh, and move on to the comedies for a while. Yeah, I'm sure the comedies go to Fisher. Uh, comedies! Uh, now when it came to the comedies, uh, Shakespeare was a genius at borrowing and, and adapting uh, different theatrical devices of his time. <clears throat> That's right! Back me up here, Nathan. You're the, you're the star. Now, some of these uh, influences include the Roman plays of Plautus and Terence and uh, Ovid's Metamorphoses, both of which do. There you go. Thank you. Both of which are hysterically funny. And of course, the, uh, the rich Italian tradition of the Commedia dell'arte. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, Shakespeare stole everything he ever wrote. Well, stole's kind of strong. Uh, distilled, maybe. Well, he distilled three or four biggest gimmicks of his time and milked them into 16 different plays. Uh, you see, basically, Shakespeare was a formula writer. And yes. once he found a device that worked, he liked to use it <laughs> over and over and over again. So, Mr. Shakespeare, the question that we have is this. Why did you write 16 comedies when you could have written just one? Now, in answer to this question, we have taken the liberty of condensing all of Shakespeare's comedies into one single play, entitled The Comedy of Two Well-Measured Gentlemen Lost in the Merry Wives of Venice on a Midsummer's Twelfth Night in Winter, or simply taking Pericles the Virgin in the Tempest of Love as much as you like it for nothing, or The Love Boat Goes to Verona. Tragedies are 
on your in the colonies. Take Shakespeare's famous Scottish play, Macbeth. Yes, How do you do Which you're really not supposed to talk about in a theater unless you're performing it. <laughs> because it's cursed. <laughs> Fortunately, we not only perform an abbreviated version of Macbeth, but after much thorough research, we are able to do so. And part of the Scottish accents. Tell me, McBurn! Macbeth, Macbeth, beware, Macduff. None of whom were born shall hold Macbeth till Burnwood come to Dunsany, don't you know? Ah, well, that's dead great. And we could have a need to clear it because. Sir, I'll jam it and know the house from your mother's womb on time and hurt. What do you think of all that? I like it, but I do support a woman's right to choose. Now lay on your happy space. Macbeth, you murder my wife, you murder your baby, you shut in the door. Ah, I did it, I did it. Here lies your circus cursed head. Macbeth, your ass is out the window. For never has there been a story more blooded dead than this of Mr. and Mrs. Macbeth. Thank you. Julius Caesar was a much beloved tyrant. All hail Julius Caesar! Hail, citizens, was warned by a soothsayer. Beware the Ides of March. Great Caesar, however, chose to ignore the warning. What the hell are the Ides of March? The 15th of March. Why, well, that's today. <laughs> Friends, <laughs> Romans, oh. countrymen, ah, ah. lend me your ears. We come to bury Caesar. So let's bury and get on with my play. Anthony. And Cleopatra! Oh, is this an ass I see before me? Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Which I'd like to whip out for you now. Oh, 
may be able to let you guys go a little bit early tonight. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah, because you see, we, didn't, we did all histories just now. Right. Uh, we did all the comedies in that one. Right. We, we did the tragedies, uh, Titus Andronicus, we did with all the blood. Romeo and Juliet, we did. Yeah, uh, Julius Caesar, uh, Charles and Crescent. Right. right. Yeah, we, uh, we wrapped Othello. Uh, Lear was the football game. Macbeth, we did with Scottish accents. Uh, what about Anthony and Cleopatra? Oh, yeah, we did that one. Kind of piece of that lady right there. Right. I mean, okay. Yeah. Um, Time of Athens, I mentioned. Coriolanus.
Yes. What do you think about that? I think you're a cute fish, man. Okay. Okay. Um, do we need to 
Rome, the all hail to the Caesar. Um, and Nathan, when you go, when it's the two noble infants or the real realization, less chocolate or more dumbass. Okay. Cool. I got you. Um, Okay. That's the coolest stage note I've ever gotten. Let's just chuck on more dumbass. Use the cage. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nathan, yes. Oh, uh, the flag and whistle. Huh? Um, it fell out of my pants with my wheelie, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> right about where your right hand is? Yes. Hey, we're going to have an opening. Okay. So, like the cart, uh -huh. move things in and out. We could have even the, the that's not preset. Up against That'd be the perfect. wall, yeah. you run, yep. grab it, come on out, that might make things a lot easier. Okay, so yeah, that'd be great. We can try that tomorrow. Well, thank you. You need to listen here, so if we need to. Also, oh, keep the dummy throw, Nathan. You like that? Yeah, I love okay, it. Okay, that was actually, I just couldn't get it out there fast enough, so okay. Cool. That's I'll chuck it at him, no problem. Um, and oh, and then Nathan, when you leave, uh, after the tightest with the cart, Make sure that you go stage right, not stage left. Gotcha. Okay, I'm trying to stand with Daniel. And then when you do that, you're going to push it off this way, mm -hmm. and uh, Mike then goes that way. Okay. And if that gap's there, you can then just keep going. Cool. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Um, and then just sort of like dress or stuff. I mean, you guys probably know exactly where we had some places that we could probably. Trouble is, you have two people that need help, but I'm the only one here to help. No, so. <laughs> uh, well, one of them I think was we had like a pants issue. Daniel didn't drop his pants. Yeah. yeah. Pants on the ground. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. <laughs> I'll work on dropping my pants faster. Let's start, start then you are for Juliet. Like, where, what's that start from? Uh, that's from uh, Storm Sires. Who took a lining on it? The lining is like. Slim lining, and then the skirt is like a circle skirt, and it's so hard to get in and out of it. You get the lining out, it'll be a lot quicker. So you just bunch it up and you just stick it that way. You don't have to. Oops. I'm not going to put a lot of it. I don't know what's so. up. Is it this one? Yeah. I'm going to put the stage here. Just because no, there's no need for it. I mean, if it's not ours, yeah. they don't want to do anything to it. But yeah. Charles, where's my rehearsal skirt that's blue? It's. Is it like turquoise? Uh, like is it painted in the dressing room? Or yeah, it's painted in the dressing room. Wait, there's a what color blue? It's like turquoise. It's ombre. Yes. Uh-huh, that's mine. And that one works. You didn't get anything out of that email. I think it goes to my Well, we try it on. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. I can say it's really Yeah, yeah. I'll say it right. 
it's always helping them out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really don't get it enough. Pushing me. Good. And I like my back. Yeah. I do not. <laughs> I love that one. So how was your intermission? Good. Um, good? You guys in the back? It's all right. Look kind of familiar? Yeah. Good? Yeah. What'd you do? Mingle. Mingle. That's what chat that's. Chat That's, yes. <laughs> a good chat shit is always nice at yep. intermission, yeah. Is there a long line at the ladies' room? Yes. Oh, I hate that, right? Male? <laughs> Sir? What happened to what? Well, um, as you can see, Nathan and Mike aren't back yet. Uh, Nathan called during the intermission. Uh, he found Mike. He was over at Marion Municipal Airport. He was hoping to catch a flight out of town. Uh, Nathan suggested that until they get back, I, I should cover the sonnets. Well, Shakespeare wrote 154 sonnets. Uh, but I, I managed to condense them all down onto this card, so I was thinking maybe what we could do is uh, if we could just kind of pass this, you know, among the audience. Um, I, I could just give it to you here. Just, you just take it, read it, enjoy it, and uh, th th pass it on to the person next to you, and so on down the row. And, and when it gets to you, uh, sir, if, if you could just pass it to the person behind you, and and you know, back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth. And, and by the time it gets to you, ma'am, um, Nathan and Mike should be back here. So, um, okay, am I gonna say the line about Bob we have some house lights, or I just cut that since no, go, go ahead and, and, uh, and uh, the ink, greatest ink on the English language, is that? No. That's me. Um, okay, say the line again. I, I'm just finishing up telling them about the card with the sonnet to yeah, pass it back and forth. So, Bob, if we could have the house lights, please yeah, read it. Gonna, yeah, just don't, we're just going to leave the house lights up. Okay, okay, no problem. Yeah. Um, so, all right, if you just go ahead, read it, and uh, enjoy it, and pass it on to the person next to you. Right. Yeah, we're done with so. the that's all right. I mean, you, you didn't give him sugar, did you? No, I did not give him sugar. But I, I promised him that if we did Hamlet, we would we would take him to Disneyland. Okay, that's fine. But I don't want to do it. It's oh. so big and there's so many words. Oh my buddy, we, we know Hamlet backwards and forwards. Okay, well, let's just do this, all right? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> all right, hey, <coughs> just, just blow, blow, blow. Come on. Would you take him backstage? So I'll, I'll do the intro. Oh. 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 Larry Olivia didn't have to deal with this, huh? <laughs> well, not anymore. Anyway. Uh, Bob, can I have some uh, mood lighting for perhaps the greatest play ever written in the English language? Hamlet, the tragedy of the Prince of Denmark. The place, Denmark. The time, the 12th, eh, maybe the 13th century. The battlements of Elsinore Castle round about midnight. Two guards enter. Oh, Mike, get out there. No! Mike! Dude, I'm 
I'm not taking forever, man. Just go. Yeah.